it's very early in the morning but i wanted to do an intro for my special vlog that i have been thinking of doing for a very long time and a reading vlog and it is for a celebration of one of my favorite books that i talk about so i feel like i don't talk about it enough but like it should happen um and it is candy steiner's a love letter to whiskey and it is the fifth anniversary so not only am you guys gonna be seeing me read a love letter to whiskey you'll be seeing the fifth anniversary and the book of what came after of jamie's point of view in love whiskey i said i'm currently in process of getting the sweatshirt so, because you know gotta support and I love that hoodie love a hoodie and it's cropped and it has my favorite my favorite on there yes so this is the intro for a reading vlog to love letter to whiskey and love whiskey the fifth anniversary <sighs> enjoy please, please enjoy because I think I know I will go through our break and just Fun times, you know? Fun times. <laughs> okay, hey y'all, it's me. Um, I filmed that intro and I really told y'all nothing about the book. Um, and this is a book that I do not talk about on my channel like enough. Like I tell y'all, but I don't tell, talk about it enough. So Love Little to Whiskey follows. They are literally, this is the definition of wrong time, right person, like I say to the nth degree, nth degree. Um, also, any, please raise your hand if you have been emotionally devastated and assaulted by Adele in her new album, 30. Please let me know. Also, tell me your favorites down below because my favorites for me is I Drink Wine. <laughs> all, of five, all of the titles have went up. Okay, I Drink Wine, uh, To Me Loved, Whew, Woman Like Me. <laughs> that interlude, which I was not excited expecting but like who the interlude um and loves game so like all the heartbreak i mean the whole album and the heartbreak but like who and then my little love talk about breaking one's heart and the voice memos and her baby oh my god y'all okay i can't adele has done it again um it's like she never left she's this feels this album her coming back with an album just feels like talking to an old friend you haven't seen in a few years and she's like hey how you doing let's catch up and catch up we did and Adele has done it again and I've, I'm on my third replay already so yeah tears happen you know it's fine you know Adele tissues that's what I advise so back to Love Letter to Whiskey which is technically what this reading vlog is about but I haven't updated y'all in a while I'm at 32%. I'm rereading the Love Letter to Whiskey for like the fourth time. So I'm going to get to like the good stuff. Love Whiskey in a little while. And a future future clips. But um, I also... So yeah, the Love Letter to Whiskey is literally the definition of wrong. I mean, wrong timing, right person. Because we have V and Whiskey. Who, sh or who she nicknamed the Whiskey. And they first mean it travels through... Um, the time of them meeting through high school through college and all these things literally get in their way and it's just so frustrating it's like my god I just want you guys to be together but literally every turn there's a roadblock and I said which is where the angst candy writes some angst I don't know what I, I don't know what her soul was in this book that that's what I said and it will break your heart and you'll be like are you joking and so after the cliffhanger of a love letter to whiskey you will be like no that's it are, are you joking but luckily for y'all who have um that love love whiskey which is Jamie's point of view the entire book and Jamie's point of view <sighs> he makes me so happy <laughs> because I love that that B and whiskey like Oh my gosh, I just also Candy Steiner on Twitter retweeted um a like readers subscribe or readers playlist and when I say I will link the playlist down below. Not only does she have a playlist to a love letter to whiskey, but she has almost a 
perfect playlist like i don't even know what like you consider perfect in your mind but in my version it was so personally and perfectly curated by each song for love letter to whiskey oh my good gracious i don't know what but it, every song was like perfection and i could tell what scenes were supposed to go what songs i will link down this reader's um twitter users down below her and link to all of her playlists she not only has love letter to whiskey she has all of the mariana zapata books she has like all the other books like i think a love hypothesis like all a lot of the other books playlists so if you find your favorite like your favorite book is on there listen to the playlist honestly i don't know what she did but it's wonderful so I've been enjoying that and playing that to the nth degree. Um, yeah. Also, have some news. Um, you guys know that I am physically reading my TBR. I'm trying to get it down. I also decided randomly this morning because I have seen Pango Books. I don't know if you guys have heard of that website. But it is a website that you can. Let's adjust you guys. Um, it is a website where you can... You can uh, sell your old books and essentially like so you're, it's not like going to anywhere it's like other books book readers selling their books to others so I have a whole bag of books that I was going to give to put to what I usually do is give them away to um, half price books but they don't really price the books how they're supposed to be okay so I am going to be uploading um, I'm going to start selling on Pango Books, so if you guys want to check out my book collection and what I'm selling, I will link it down below um, because I'm trying to be better and linking all of my things down below and like being and self promoing myself because like I don't do I don't do you know all the things that I do for my health. You feel me? So this is also like a mini book on haul because I also randomly this morning was like, yeah, some of these books I'm just not really going to get through. Like why dystopia? I'm not, I'm not really, I don't really read anymore. Um, with the exception of the Legend trilogy, which I just found out is going to be turned into a movie, <laughs> and um, just like some other books. So I was like, you know, if there's not an audio book, yeah, it's not happening. Also, I'm not really in like I'm not really in the space at almost 30 trying like reading wide so it doesn't really hit right with me anymore like it used to do like the Legend Trilogy, Divergent, I'm not gonna talk about the movies, um, you know those books. So I, you know the books that I'm going to be selling on PengoBooks.com uh, or the app, it's an app and you can find me at Just Key. it's literally under the same name as everywhere on the internet, I try to. Um, so yeah, here's a little mini on home. So the first book is You a You Had Me at Ola by Alex Alexia Daria. Um, yeah, I mean, it was okay. It's not something that I reread again. If I find an audio, I'll probably read it. But that's about it. Um, <laughs> Loving Dallas by Casey Quinn. Um, this is romance, rockstar romance. And I think that uh, that's all I can remember. And see, a lot of the books that I don't remember, the synopsis is bad. Also, these, I have a next, I have an ARC. Um, the ARC I'm going to be dropping off to like the little libraries um, that are in my city. So I'm going to be doing that because it's, if I'm, it's illegal, quite illegal to, um, quite questionable, let me say, um, to be selling ARC. So I'm going to just, you know, leave it for the, you know, other people to find, to make a second home for it. Um, so the, this one is The Last Confession of Autumn Cat Casterly, my Marinus Tate. Um, I was about I know it's about follows two sisters one is like a partier one is like well maybe one has gotten into trouble and the other sister has to get her out but something happened or she I think dies or something um and yes and the next one is Stonefield by Christy Lindsay I have no idea what this is about I don't know <laughs> there's also this next I think this is a YA dystopian too this is the one by Daniel Swearing Becker line is like when the world turns against you how far do you fight fight back something they all oh, they were lucky ones who were randomly selected before birth to receive genetic engineering so they're like known as the ones who are like literally perfect in that sense and something about the government blah blah i ain't gonna read it i'm gonna read it the next one is Gild the gilded cage by lucinda gray i don't know 
the next one is queen of hearts uh, volume one the crown by colleen oaks i did very much enjoy this book i think there's a redesign um this is an old cover this is a redesign and like a couple of other books in the series so if i find them on audio i'll probably do that um but uh this is a fairy tale retelling of the queen of hearts yeah the queen of hearts which you guys know i'm a fan of retellings the next one is follow me back by av geiger which was based off of wattpad's what hmm, wattpad story um and i enjoyed this but i'm not i did read the second one and it followed like a whole different cast of characters which i really wasn't a fan of because i thought it was going to follow this but yeah it was i mean it was entertaining for what it was you know it's great the next one is an arc which is they wish they were us by jessica goodman i loved and enjoyed this this gave me i don't know if you guys remember the series the private series and it was like this um group of girls um in a very i feel like not high society but like a dorm but like they were very secretive and it gave me that and also like low-key pretty little liar vibes with like shooting teacher it's, it's a lot of things and then people die you know murder of course happens so like it's a white mystery thriller i have already read the final copy of this um but yes this is, this is very good the next one is trouble is a friend of mine by stephanie Tromley. i really honestly have no idea um i think maybe i'm gonna find a few places on audiobook because this was entertaining from the part that i 150 130 pages that i did read and i just dnf'd it and have not came back to it and i won't <laughs> the next one ooh, ouch the next one is crossing the line by simone echoes you guys know how much i love simone echoes this one tore my heart apart it was great it was dandy um that i it was like this reminded me of it's essentially like a modern day romeo and juliet so then it kind of gives what happens away so somebody does die um but this was so good it was just like so it was really good um but i've already read it and i won't read it again so it was fine it was really cool the next one is a lot of these these last two books you guys have know my thoughts about i will link down my recent reads that i talked about down below because leave some thoughts and this is a dnf anyway so i think someone else will enjoy it rather than me and the next one is three wishes by leanne moriarty and uh you guys know i'm not a fan of uh liam Leanne leanne's um women's fiction versus her thrillers i like her thrillers much much better and it uh works for me so and the last book i'm going to be selling is um the favorite sister by jessica Knoll. and this is like a mystery because they follow this these two sisters are um, always pitted against each other in this reality TV show that's essentially following like boss babes but like some one of the sisters die and then they don't know who did it of course they did I didn't have to because I couldn't I couldn't really rock with this even at the audio I didn't have so I don't usually do enough audios but it was not really connecting for me so I said okay thank you next so those are the books that I'm going to be selling on Pango Books um, and I am going to be playing Animal Crossing because of the new update. How are you guys liking the update if you are Animal Player Crossers, Animal Crossing players and um, also please let me know what your favorite Adele songs from her album 30 are because we need to talk about this okay. I have never felt so like she captured the human experience encapsulated this in this album like even if you take you listen to the song out of order like the album out of order each song encapsulate of the human experience and emotions of just heartbreak and it's it's just life and it's beautiful and i said oh my goodness adele adele honey what were, what i am the the arrangements it was amazing it shocked me the songs that i thought were like based off of the title only were gonna be like oh i think this is probably gonna make me cry i didn't but the one that did not have like a heartbreaking like title broke me and it was like good and dandy because it's adele and it's like catching up with an old friend so here we are 
Um, I'm going to be playing in Mood Crossing before I get on FaceTime with a friend later on today. And yeah, that's it. So that's a little update, a little music thing. And uh, yes, I'm very excited. I'm going to go listen to Adele again. Also, to clear my, you know, clear the melancholy that Adele put me in, I also have been loving Bruno Mars and Anderson Pax or Silk Sonic's new album, An Evening with Silk Sonic. And I don't know what type of, I don't know what drugs um, they were both on when they made this album. Also, I felt like they were stingy because they gave us nine songs, nine songs, and three of them were like, singles so i'm like you why you had to, why did you have to be so stingy with the nine songs you could have gave us 12 so based off of that i need them i would love for them to make another album like in the next year because that was a little stingy okay let me stingy but anywho i've been loving that album playing it literally fully on repeat the intro i don't think people realize that the intro song is literally everything and it's underrated I love the intro song and I also love Fly Fly As Me. Y'all, the rapping verses. <laughs> Anderson verses. That man can sing and rap. And I don't know why we have not heard it both, but like, <laughs> y'all. Okay. It's been a good time. Um, album releases this month has been <laughs> on the fleek. And I also got a cute little gift, two gifts that I will show probably later. Um, that we did like a secret exchange for um Hello Lovely Box for those people who um like were reps and decided to just like, you know, exchange or whatever. And it was cool because it was my first time participating and it was so fun. I got two a kind of book that I really love, rated five stars. And I will be showing in the future video like my top favorites of the year. And I got some cute little essential fragrance oils from Bakery Set. <laughs> and I'm so excited. So yes, um, that's a little cute little update. It, this is a long update because it probably won't be anymore <laughs> as long as this. But uh, yes, I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys when I update you or either the next day. Okay. <laughs> Alright, hey y'all, it's Miki. I have not updated this vlog in a very long time. And it is a, a bit close to the day that I was trying to upload this vlog. But uh, it seems like this may be the first, this may be uploaded a little bit <laughs> further than I uh, am anticipating. So, there's that. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. It's been, it's been a while. Um, things are happening. Right now, I am... I'm getting ready to I'm researching um for the end of the year book tag I think I did one last year but I have to look back um I am researching for that video and then I'm also trying to pre-film a lot of author spotlights for next year that I found out um which is great that's awesome um because there are a lot of things happening the next year that I'm hoping to put into place so yes, I'm very excited. Awesome. Also, I am, as you guys know, I have seen my recent read videos, which I am very, very proud of myself this year. So the books that you guys know that I'm trying to dwindle down, my physical TBR, which is super helpful because if I do plan on um, moving um, out, I need to get rid of the books. And it's kind of been working out anyway because I don't really buy a lot of physical books as is. So I'm trying to read the ones that I do have on my bookshelf. And so you guys know that the rule is after I finish reading them, um, I if they're rated a 3 and below, which hardly books are rated like a 1 and 2 in my star, that would be like really just like not the move for me to rate it a 1 or a 2 star um, or just one or two stars so usually there are three stars that are just average stars uh they're not books that i would like want to reread again or i've been thinking about i've decided to i have decided to start selling my books um on this website called pangobooks.com no i'm not sponsored i just found them through instagram thank goodness for that um because it's actually pretty cool like you just buy other books that other people like they post the books that they don't want and you just buy them and it's just easy peasy. I also thought that I was like really cool and I got some really cute 
<laughs> some really cute um, mailers that says thank you. They're so cute. Oh my god, let me see if I can get some. I ordered them a little while ago when I decided that I wanted to go ahead and start selling them. So look how cute they are. They're so cute. So I started, thought I was doing something, you know. So if you love to support me and to rate my bookshelf and to see what I got going on and you're missing some books or just want to support me, please let me know down below. Like you can check out my store down below um, and I will link it down below. It will be in the videos from this video on. Um... So yeah, I'll put the link in this pangobooks.com, it's an app, and you know, let me know, and anything, if you buy anything that is, um, you get free shipping for $15 over, so, you know, let, let me know, and uh, yeah, bundle, 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 I'm excited. So yeah, that was a cool thing I wanted to do, and... I need to eat because a little I'm a little lunchy. I think I may bake some sweet potatoes because I bought a whole bag and have not done anything with it in the last week. So I'm gonna throw them in the instant pot real quick and uh, get a little snack roux, and I shall tell you about the book. So I'm almost done with a love letter to whiskey. I'm like 42%, and this part uh, <laughs> they just. You know how those that meme is like, you know, in the romance, but they're like, they're like so much angst and it's so much like pining and it's just circumstances are not allowing them to be together and you just want to be like characters, just kiss, that's all, just, just do that, just be together please and that's what's happening right now. So I will update you guys after, after I'm done and then we'll talk about Love Whiskey, which is, <laughs> that is the cream de la cream okay of this video so okay cool so that's all for the update and yeah so also if you guys do not follow me on tiktok you should because tiktok is like where i've been posting more so i so if i'm not posting on instagram i'm posting on tiktok i do like lifestyle videos and bookish videos literally is book style and lifestyle so whatever floats your boat have a lot of videos i'm trying to be more consistent um and trying to come up with more ideas but that's the goal and yeah so that's fun and i will update you guys after i finish eating maybe put some b-roll in here if i forget you know that's what happens <laughs> and uh yeah so i am getting rid i also got rid of two other books it's a there were, were a few wild ya dystopian books that i got rid of that i just know i wasn't going to even get to at all because i'm not really at that like i'm not really reading ya dystopian particularly at all now anymore so i figured hey you know i also did a huge i was in the mood for a huge overdue honestly overdue like declutter and like just cleaning uh, my closet and clothes that I do not own do not have so I am on the road to like try to I'm in this mode of like trying to save more money and trying to build an emergency fund because I feel like a lot of people are not I want to be at the point where I am working less okay maybe like four days three maybe three days a week um with cute with my photography and like selling a few things like I feel like that's happening so I'm doing a savings challenge and I'm very excited for myself uh, because I filled some envelopes. Yay. Um, the saving challenge that I'm talking about, I think it was like made popular, I guess, through TikTok. I don't know. I started Googling and I was like, oh wow, that's kind of cool. That's smart. I like that. So I'll link the videos, um, the few videos that I watched down below about it and like the process, easy peasy, you know. Um, and I've done a few steps. To help myself out to save more and i'm very excited so yay and yeah so if you want to support me at pango books and buy my books i'll be super helpful also make sure you like and subscribe in this video to see more of some vlogs um and yeah so there you go okay hey guys i have upgraded something What's the tab? Um, I have finally, it took me a very, very long time to like 
finally upgrade. I'm very excited. And I got, I'm um, upgrading. I got a MacBook Pro, oh, MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Max. That one, whatever. Um, so it's a very cool thing. And I have to like put all the migration stuff, like migrate all my stuff over and stuff. So I'm like, look at the tab. Okay, let me do this because it's not really about me. Uh, so, that's like I'm not really. This is my own computer, which is a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And why is it shaking? Oh, okay. um, so yes, uh, she's beauty, she is nice. Yay, I'm so excited, guys. is like super cheesy but i know for some people it's like oh this is nothing but this is like a lot for me so i'm very very excited also let's talk about how this is actually etching First impressions. First impressions. This has some weight to it. It's much heavier than my MacBook Pro 15 inch. It's much heavier. Um, and it is a beauty, babes. It's a beauty. Um, also, we have all of the, it's a MagSafe charger, USB-C port. And SD card readers, it's just, guys, it's just awesome. Okay, and then, of course, in the box, one moment. Okay, in the box, the instructions. And the brick, which is much smaller than the other one. And then the cord, yay. That's it, sorry. And it seems like you can, this is much smaller and this brick is much smaller. That means a more power, smaller brick, more power. Hmm. Let's see. And inside of here, so I'm going to, one of my friends um, loves, I'm updating my old computer and making sure that I have my, what the? Oh, MacBook Pro and this black stickers. So um, my friend actually collects Every time he gets like a new Apple device or whatever, he collects these. I don't, I ain't gonna use them. Um, I'm actually waiting for a case. Also, is anybody else who has upgraded to the 14 inch, is it anybody else find it weird that like, there's not a case, you can't find it. It's like, seems to be looking like a Waldo. So I have a touch bar here and on the 14 inch, there is none. There's not a touch bar. Things will never listen no. Oh, what do I for myself? This could be something else. Okay. Hey guys, it's me. So I am here to tell you guys my beautiful feelings on love whiskey so 
from the last clip it has been a little while um because i've taken tried to take my time with love whiskey when i got to love whiskey and i have been off like the last like who week and it's been beautiful it's currently um the 30th of is it the 30th of december yes it's the 30th of december and i finished i binge read love whiskey in like two hours under two hours um because i did not realize how much i needed jamie's point of view and i love how oh god it was so many things that i loved but that man he loved him some b oh my god that man was waiting he was waiting and the fact that he saw her first if you know what i'm if you know if you know you know okay he saw her first and i said oh no um i was i could not really i did not realize how satisfied i was going to be after reading love whiskey and then is the perfect like i wouldn't even call it a companion like in my mind it's not really a companion like it is a companion because they literally match each other so perfectly yes it is the same story and it's not like a no it's not like a novella it is, yes it is the same story in his point of view but it's also different points from um that you really like really those moments that you really wanted to you really wanted and needed in a love letter to whiskey because it's only b's point of view and he literally tells you in multiple points he's like look i already know that you know b's point of view in this but like look this is my take and it was totally different and i was like oh my god every pivotal scene that i needed and i cried my eyes out and love whiskey it gave me this almost renewed satisfaction that jamie was like i was like now jamie was a boy okay <laughs> And he, he he is accountable. He literally is quite aware of like, yeah, I, this was kind of stupid of me. But like, the, it was everything I wanted and needed. And I read this on KU. I do plan on owning this eventually. The day that it dropped and she surprised us and did a drop of candy, Dr. Beyonce on us and was like, hey, 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 guess what? She really actually didn't drop a Beyonce. She actually been had, was teasing it on Twitter and I was following closely like white on rice because I said, I need to know all the things. I said, is this from James' point of view? From the first tweet, I said, this is from James' point of view. We are going to get Jamie. Finally, finally. Also, we get a little happy ending and they are good. And I'm just not quite satisfied with myself. This was a definite reread. I have read a little bit to whiskey at least four times, four to five times. Yes, I am just so satisfied. I am so excited. Um, so clearly I do recommend a love letter to whiskey. So I thank Candy for writing this beautiful specimen of this book because it's nothing like a book that can it, it gives you this heart wrenching realistic moment and it's like Oh my god, this book found me. Like I am a big believer of like books finding you at the right time. And when I first read a love letter to whiskey, I was in this weird space situation and it just was so relatable. And again, I'm reading Love Love Whiskey and it is my all over it's all over again. And it's just beautiful. I miss them. I'm so happy that Jamie and B are doing well. You would think they are real people, but in my mind, they are real, okay? Um, I loved it. This is also a vlog, so I'm going to show you a few little things. Um, but I just want to thank Candy because anything that this woman writes, I actually have, I actually posted a reel. Um, if you go on my either TikTok or my, if you follow me on TikTok here, as well as Instagram over here, um, I posted in my top three auto by authors, like, and it's three women, of course. It's Miss Candy Steiner, who is the the, the, she's she's the woman of the show today okay of this reading vlog because i've been wanting to do this reading vlog for such a long time and i just needed this book okay um and i wish i had my reaction back in the day i wish i had my reaction to reading a love letter to whiskey with tears and all because that is like the epitome of honestly that book like i literally reread this book it's a comfort read 
Is it painful? Yes, it is. Do I want to kind of shake B multiple times? Yes, I do. When I kind of do, now, do I want to smack Jamie sometimes? Because now I know he's one of you. Yes, I do. But do I love them overall? Yes, because I believe in right person, wrong timing. You can fight your grandmother. You can fight me. You can fight me. Don't at me, actually, um, because I, the story was still the same. Right person, wrong time. Okay. Kiss that I said I. Okay. What will be will be. So they will find you. Um, and I just. I just love this book so absolutely so much just so much um also the cover is beautiful and it's a part in Love Whiskey when he the, the, this book is it's 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 there it's the description of this cover the 10th anniversary is there it's described in the book I will not tell you more you need to read the book okay clearly I've been <sighs> read it okay so also, so I have a couple things to tell you guys. So I will be in some upcoming vlogs, which I do be plan planning on doing a little bit more in the upcoming 2022 year. Next year is literally in a few days. In a few days, um, I will be um, having a multiple of things. So one, I want to show you the air car freshener that I bought for the Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Uh, SAS sale or semi-annual sale for those people who do not know um, I bought finally bought me a car freshener because I cannot fathom paying it's like ten dollars twelve fifteen dollars for a car air freshener when I can just wait for SAS so I bought a car freshener and yes I have I literally have one currently from like Airwick in my car so I'm just waiting to that one and kind of stocking up on these because I got three cents two in a scent that I, I love and um, and then two that I, one that I think I would love because it's sugar and it's snickerdoodle and I love cookies and I love sugar cookies. So that's kind of a thing. And then berry. So we'll see. Um, I got two car fragrance refills and black cherry Merlot. I have everything in black cherry Merlot. Yeah. These are originally like four, it says $4. But like on the website, it's like it's just like five or something, five or something crazy. Like it's five dollars plus for these little things. And I said that is insane to me. I will wait patiently. So I bought two black cherry merlot. Um, I got one in sugar snickerdoodle. I literally have no idea how they smell, with the exception of black cherry merlot, because I own the lotion, the hand cream, oil. Like I literally own everything in that scent because I love that scent. The spray hydrated hydrating cream so everything and i also got the last one is in snowy peach berry um yeah there we go oh oh there we go and i got it in sugar snickerdoodle and black cherry merlot so okay so yo those are my little car refills um also i have a um i am going to be currently working on a so i'm working on a small business my small business i've been working in it like little doing a little behind the scenes e um so i have a few collections so it's more centered around digital design so as you guys if you guys don't know or maybe if you guys if i've mentioned it maybe before um one i would love for you guys to follow my digital design well technically digital design graphic design um instagram and it's just key designs you know we're staying on this train okay we're trying to be cohesive in all of the <laughs> all of my creative endeavors so my design um to see my current design what i'm working on behind the scenes small business things um just design just key designs um and i'll link it down below i was also here little me here um and i will be currently working on so i want to make you guys know that i love like wallpapers i don't know if you guys know but i am a sucker for like good wallpapers and i want to add i want to be able to add like a cozy feel to like a cozy almost like a cozy sweater for my digital goodies and i want to provide that for everyone else um so i created 
in the process of creating and you guys will see uh creating my um <laughs> some cozy digital sweater love wallpapers um for your digital goods so essentially it'll be um wallpapers for your phone your ipad your macbook if you don't have a macbook you're just essentially your laptop just cute minimalistic cozy designs um for your digital goodies um and so i'm currently working on a lot of things some designs but i'm i'm trying to get i'm going to be opening an etsy store um i will also be talking a lot about that on my design um instagram so you can get sneak peeks um sales all these things so i'm hoping to because i feel like if i tell if i say it out loud then i have to make it happen because people i have to make myself accountable correct so um my goal is to open up by january so because january is literally i mean not january i'm sorry february which is my birthday month um i don't celebrate birthdays but it's just giving me a bit of a little a deadline for myself um so january is literally days away um less than 24 hours away so i have literally a month to work on the design um how to put them into files and png and like all of this thing so if you guys see like our small business like vlogs um or little segment within my vlogs that is a thing that's happening okay that's the thing that's happening so within that digital um those digital um design or for my wallpapers i do have three collections already in my collection but of course my bookish the book lover and me and all of you guys who are all watching of course i have to have a bookish collection eventually in the future i do want to make some of those transfer some of those designs to like sweatshirts and i do have a few companies in mind that can you be used for for essentially for example um i saw that um, and I had already had saw, but it was great because I wanted to see like the feedback and see how everybody loved it. Um, and see kind of that customer service idea behind it. And I know, um, Lisa from Remarkably Lisa and Jessica from, um, Peace Love Books. Um, and gosh, I forgot. They're the, like for the historical readathon. Um, they use Bonfire. It's also, um, Desiree from Ginky Reader. I saw her first and they all did they use their do the sweatshirts from design and they use bonfire and i had already been looking at bonfire for a while i had just wanted to see like a customer service and kind of been researching and things so i'm definitely in the future going to be using them for the design that i end up using for sweatshirts because i do want to use put some bookish things on make bookish merch and i also been thinking about channel merch but i don't think my audience is big enough or anywho you know i'm just just you know going to put it out there and those who buy it buy it those who don't you guys can support me in other ways um and that's totally fine um so i am going to be working on i have a bookish collection and a cute bookish wallpaper that are so cute um and i'm just trying to figure out like i'm sketching them out now to see the designs of like how i want them and you guys like tell me like some quotes and i was also thinking of like a quotes wallpaper i want to make it um at least a option where the user or buyer can i can custom design um like a quote wallpaper for them so and it depends on like if they want like the quote full uh um in the middle left like i want to like do a custom have an option for custom because i know some people like they want custom like based off the characters blah 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 so i am excited for that um i'm so excited and also 22 2022 is literally days away like 24 hours away i'm so so excited so i'm hoping to like sketch and have everything done and like worked on and you guys will see the process of my fails my successes and everything so i'm very very excited for you guys to come on this journey with me because that is one of my goals for 2022 but we haven't talked about that yet now have we um also if you guys want other ways to support me i'm also trying to figure out if here in the background is literally thundering it's been raining all day the lights just came back on recently so 
um if you guys um like other ways to support me um i am selling um a few a lot of books from my physical bookshelf as you guys know my um i will put the playlist up above for the playlist that i am reading through my physical t books on my shelf and i have reviews of those and the books that i rated three books or below or books that i just know of that i'm not going to get to again or i think that the, you know they, they can be loved by someone else i have started selling them on pangobooks.com and i will link my store link down below if that's one of the ways you can support me I'm also trying to figure out a way to set up an Amazon storefront like because I've been seeing it lately and I've been like how do you set it up so I have to kind of like go and research and kind of figure that out so I kind of want to figure out how to do that um and kind of put like my you know equipment um and like top books of 20, 2021 on there and things like that um so yeah I hope you guys can support me in the way that you can and i hope you guys are excited for the new venture because i am so so excited i'm currently also using this website called taylor brands um and i've seen it on tiktok and i learned a lot of things for small business through tiktok <laughs> and because tiktok is worth it and um i've been using that and i'm going to like get everything together have a design a website just live digital card all the things okay and yes i'm very very excited and i hope you are too i hope you guys are um doing well you guys are looking forward to cautiously looking forward to 2022 you know we're all cautious nowadays super cautious i just kind of like want someone to peek in 2022 and be like hey you know that's not what it is and we can kind of stay back there um so yes i hope you guys are enjoying it so many books to read um i do have i think one or two more videos that's coming hopefully that i can finish editing that'll be um up before the new year but if not i will see you guys in 2022 i hope you guys enjoy ciao i know you got that feeling oh when i love it's not just me takes two to level three